Don't you remember you told me you loved me, baby? You said you'd be coming back this way again, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Hello. I'm drawing a picture, which is probably what you've come to expect by now. Well, let me tune into Ewan's podcast and see what he's doing. Oh, is he drawing again? Oh, how new and exciting of him to be drawing pictures in his picture drawing podcast. How forward moving, how evolutionary, how different and exciting he is with his drawing of pictures all of the time oh you've got a podcast that's really cool what do you what is it what do you what is it what do you do oh i draw pictures oh you don't talk about like the 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 hot topics of the the week the news things what's going on in the world iran not talking about the crisis in iran the ongoing crisis in iran might i um no i just sort of draw draw th- i draw things and then and I, I say f- i say funny things like i say shit and piss a lot i say the c word what c word do you say fucking cabbage is that the c word you use oh that's hilarious no you cunt it's well it's cunt is the <laughs> it's, uh, look, it's Squidward, but it's like he's an actual op- opticus, octopus, octopus, an octocabbage, an octocunt. <laughs> um, it's funny, you see, because it's like, you know, he's an octopus. You know, even though his name's Squid, he's an octopus. That's really silly, isn't it? Um, but now it's like he's a real octopus. But with a funny head, a funny cartoon head. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Wow, such great content, Ewan. I am so glad I tune in every week to listen to this. Drivel! Um, of course, this is the the from last week, which, you know, obviously, if you're watching now, I assume you watch every single episode. And so you'd know that's from the... the when my dad, my fat old dead dad, before he was dead, not before he was fat and old, um, he had a heart attack. And then I do uh, the. What I'm thinking is I might recreate this because I mean it'd be quite a funny drawing anyway. But also, I think it could like, get quite a lot of likes on on Instagram because people are like that. I'd be like, "Oh, this is a recreation of a card I made for my dad after he had a heart attack." I just ruined it. I thought oh, I'll put a bit of shadow under his nose. And it looks fucking garbage. I literally just fucking ruined that. God damn it. It's so easy to fuck up a drawing. You just add just like one or two lines more than you need to. And you you fuck the entire thing up. Ah, a metaphor for life in there somewhere, I'm sure. Um, (laughs) Why isn't that funny? Funny little funny fun funny. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, doesn't need more than five tentacles. A five tipus. What's that? A pent? A pentipus. That's actually quite a funny word. I might, I might note that one down. A uh, a pentipus. Um, but then would that be like a a a, a a a an octopus with five tentacles, or like five octopuses with no tentacles, or a five? I have in my notes. See, I like I like taking like you take like if you have big ass titties because we all like big ass titties but then if you you can have like big ass titties which is like some big big fucking with a head this big um and it's big fucking tits these are legs and a penis because they're trans um that's some big ass titties but then if you put the uh, uh, apostrophe not the apostrophe the the hyphen you know where this is going, obviously there. And it's big ass titties. So then you have somebody. This is the head, and this is their their back, and this is their their butt. They have big tits here. Yeah, 
is it their arms it's their back they've got their head like turned um see big ass titties tits on their ass big ass and uh, i have this thing in my notes um because a friend drew a picture of a frog on a unicycle um oh, now i have to draw a frog on a unicycle god damn it i can't draw a frog on a unicycle and this you, you think oh it's funny it looks like a penis but that's that's the point um Oh, that's not too bad. Um, and it was a frog on a unicycle, and this to me looked like a penis. So I commented on it: frog penis, frog penis, frog penis, frog penis. And then they replied saying, oh, "What about frog titties?" And so I noted that down because I thought that'd be quite funny. Because then it would be like, would frog titties be a frog with big tits? Or would it be like? A, a person with tits, but their tits are like, I'll do them like Kermit the Frog, frog heads. And then you've got frog titties. This is hair. See, so you have a word like frog titties and it's like, oh, that's a funny thing. But then it's like, well, Take it a step further. Is that a frog with tits or is it frog? Well, you go. I'm just repeating myself. Um, which all is, uh, it comes from Pentapus. Is that a pen? Uh, so I might, because people, I think people will appreciate if I do like a version of that. Um, what else is going on? Stinktober. That's what I'm doing. Have you seen that? Have you seen Stinktober? Abu! Um... These are all out of order. Oh, this, this is the first one. So, and this was where I was doing the ST and the cube, the, the square. For, so he's a smelly, smelly guy. Just whatever. And then, I, so I was going to have number one be this guy. And number two, so here was the joke. The joke was, there we go. And so it's just things that are smelly, things that stink. Instead of ink over see, because I put this st instead of, uh, in front of the ink, so it's stink. October instead of just Inktober, because Inktober's boring. Um, maybe I'll do that one. I'll say Inktober stinks. Fucking stop it. Stop it. Fucking stop it. Um, and then so it was, this guy stinks is number one. Okay, number two, boys. And then in brackets it said, generally, boys generally stink. And then the next one was girls specifically with an arrow pointing towards their vaginal area. Um, and then, you know, all these are flies just to denote that they are flies buzzing around her filthy, rotten, stinking vagina. Um, and then this got deleted <laughs> out of all the drawings I've done, all the offensive drawings I've done, all the nude sexy drawings I've done, all of the insectoid drawings I ha haven't done. This one got deleted. She's wearing a bikini. There's nothing really bad going on. And it was deleted for hate speech because apparently suggesting that girls smell and have flies buzzing around their smelly vaginas is hate speech. <laughs> And when something gets deleted like that and it says why, it, gets, it says, uh, you think we made a mistake, you can appeal it here. And so I did. And I've had that happen before and they have re-uploaded um, a picture that was deleted, which makes it get, they don't show it anywhere. It gets zero likes after that. It's just on, on your page again, but no one sees it. Um, so thanks for re-uploading it. But, pff, uh, so, but yeah, they didn't re-upload it because apparently this is too just, too over the top hateful <laughs> of me to suggest that girls might smell um so fucking great for that and then the next one was grandma which i did censored on instagram i did it all pixelated and then underneath i described what was going on in the image and that's just you know a dead neglected old old cunt grandma uh, but i put that on my twitter so you can see it there. Oh, whatever um some more recent ones. The the man that lives in my toilet. I thought that was quite a funny one. That was sort of on the spot. See, because I have this whole list. It's really in-depth list of stinky things. Um, but this guy wasn't on there. I came up with that in 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 on the spot, in out of nowhere, in my head. The pee bottles. I originally just drew a handful of pee bottles, but it was quite a boring drawing. A boring drawing. That rhymes. Um 
so uh, then I do uh, again, but with a guy peeing into the people, surrounded by people's S stink lines on every drawing. You've got to have the stink lines, flies. I had this idea for like for every stinktober drawing to draw more and more flies until there were just flies everywhere because it was so stinky. But you know, can't be fucked really. Um, digital art stinks. I can't draw until my pencil charges. Wee wee. I've heard that from so many people, and then of course. You get the people saying, oh, if you use Procreate and this, then you don't need to charge your petrol. Because blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, cool. Thanks for making my joke really, really f extra funny by making it realistic and serious by adding those the, that, that to it. Thank you for you really added to what I was trying to do by making it serious. But I have heard this from a bunch of people saying, oh, I, I want to draw, but I've got to wait for my pencil to charge. And it's just like. Do you know what I should have done? I thought after I uploaded it, I should have drawn paper and pens surrounding him, like behind him. But he's crying that he can't draw because his pencil went... It's funny. Um, art students stink. They fucking stink. Unshaven people with dreadlocks. Not that there's anything wrong with not shaving, but you know. Sometimes unshaven goes along with unwashed. Sometimes. I'm not suggesting that's always the case but sometimes that's the case and that's the particular case i'm illustrating here um and just in general they're just fucking annoying shits i love them i love all of them obviously i'm one of them I can, the next one would have been me here in the background with a shaven head going star cucks on his coffee good that's fine <laughs> um, do you know what though a lot of people i went to college and and university with um, you know, a lot of people ask why I always had my head shaved because from like young, young teenagers, I just shaved my head because it's easier. Um, and then after like college, university, a lot of other people started shaving their heads because they're like, oh, God, it's so much easier to do. And I was like, yeah, I fucking knew it. <laughs> That's why I did it. You can't. Um, yoga, vegan farts, not yoga farts. Yo, yoga, vegan. It goes together, doesn't it? Vegan, deadly. F see, this guy's face is melting off and they're dying because of the rancid horrendous vegan farts because you know vegetables and fruits and stuff you pack them together fart them out and they fucking stink my refrigerator i liked that i did all the thumbprints on here to make it look dirtier see there's heads in the refrigerator that's funny um oh that's my original pea bottles drawing see no, it's not a bad drawing but it's just sort of it doesn't look like pea and it's not I can say these are pea bottles and then you look at it and go, okay, cool. That was a good one though. That got a lot of, of likes. People like this one. My smelly penis, see? Um, that arm's really good because just previous to that, I'd drawn a picture of a girl's butt and her arm was like this. So I just, it was done out of my head, but like I had referenced it previously. So she's pulling down my pants and my smelly penis with flies and she's like oh gonna be sick um big old smelly shit did that really smooth texture for the shine on the shit so that's stinktober so i'll work on the next one um but not all of these i will do and i was literally just out of my head what are smelly things? So garbage, fish, butts, farts, poop, smelly dogs, socks, old people, vaginas, penis, feet, breath, boys, girls, periods, nerds. Nerds could be quite a good one. Nerds stink. Fuck you, nerds. I am one. Digital art, lol. Toilets, dog poop, cat poop. Toby. Fuck you, Toby. See, that? that's what the, I wanted to do that one next. Because there was a boy called Toby I went to school with and he was just a fucking arsehole. So I'm going to say Toby stinks and draw an approximate drawing of him. Cartoony, whatever, and then draw him being smelly. And it'll say, Toby stinks. And then underneath, I'll write, fuck you, Toby. Um, but I'm worried now that that might be seen as hate speech. <laughs> that might be too hateful a thing to say, suggesting that a, a particular individual is smelly. And then I say, fuck you to them. Heaven forfend that I should say such a thing, that I should utter such preposterous things. Um, some social cultural relevant things. See, like... Just to be like, oh, you know, fucking political correctness stinks. Oh, but dude, this stinks. This, mm -hmm. which is that's the th with digital art. So far, I think digital art is the only one I've done that's a concept that stinks, because all the others have been smelly things: a shit, a vagina, a penis, 
severed head in a refrigerator, some old dead bitch, fucking the rest of it, piss bottles. Um, but then digital art was like, it's not a thing, it's not a tangible object, um, like my dick. It's uh, a concept, isn't it? So I, I, I want to do more of them, like more, more smelly concepts. So like social, cultural, relevant things, but I don't really know what to do. And if this one, um, I was going to do like stinky, smelly, filthy, wretched, putrid, disgusting, homeless people <laughs> smell. Because <laughs> do you remember ages and ages ago, I did a drawing of a guy pissing on a homeless man and it said, it's okay to piss on homeless people, they don't matter. Which is, you know, funny, a bit tongue in cheek. You know, obviously they do matter. They're people. They fucking help them. But it was a funny drawing to do because this is how society treats homeless people. So give a fuck, whatever. Um, and then, so I thought, off the back of that, it would be funny to do stinky, smelly, filthy, wretched, putrid, disgusting homeless people, and draw like a homeless person lying down with smelly and horrible people walking past, all disgusted and ugh. Um, but again. That might be seen as hate speech. I can't do that. Oh, me. Oh, me. Um, oh, no. oh my, my belly button. Pee bottles. I did sewers, drains, rotting food corpses. Um, a big old shit. Cheese. Um, oh, that, maybe I should have done this. Because it's penis and then an arrow here. My penis specifically. So I should have done that. Because I did my smelly penis. I should have just done penises stink. You know, funny, everyone can get behind that. Because it's making fun of men, so it's okay. Because um, we can take it, because we're fucking strong, yeah? <laughs> um, so just penises stink. And then the next one be my penis specifically, and then draw my penis. And draw it all, like, gnarled and wart-covered and discoloured and... Uh, wart-covered and discoloured. Um, and, and smelly flies crawling in and out of it in the foreskin and stuff. Shit dripping out of it, thick, uh, thick, viscous, dark liquid dripping from its tip. Um, so yeah, penises, and then my pen. Um, but I, I ruined that by just doing my penis. Um, you looking at this right now, that could be quite a funny one. Like the Toby draw an approximation of the person looking at it right now on their phone. You stink, you fucking. Oh, maybe I could, I could draw like. Um, Oh, I'll show you that in a sec. You've already seen it, maybe, but uh, whatever. Um, I could draw the the dummy dum dum drooling, looking at their phone. This is their hand looking at their phone. Um, and then I could draw uh, a big uh, hand coming out with a big middle finger going into their face, which I think is something I've seen somewhere before, so I'll just steal that idea. Or um, I could do the the you know, the more British version, the, given the, the V sign. Um, or I could do prodding them right in the face, hand coming out, just poking them in the, in the eye. That'd be quite funny, actually, just like poking them in the eye. And they're still just like, I don't know. That could be quite a good one. Um, and then I guess this is like a concept piece, birth and death and everything in between birth and death so I could do birth stinks so I could do a baby coming out of a vagina and it being all smelly and horrible and then I could do death stinks and then like just you know a corpse some dead fucker or a bunch of corpses maybe I'll relate it to the Ukraine I could do a war stinks Ooh, political uh. um, and then the next one so birth stinks death stinks and then everything in between birth and death stinks which is just life just people existing standing around with coffee and phones and shitting everywhere pissing in their own mouths because it's the only sustenance they're gonna get soon um so i there's a good amount i still to go and we're getting towards being about halfway through i was worried i might get to like 10 15 days in and be like that's all the stink jokes i've got that's all i've got i've got nothing else i could do with that so I'll, I'll call it quits like halfway through and then just draw whatever and before we move on to but vember which is on the way um but there might be you know i'll just see see how far i get with it before i just get really bored and i might do that as like the last one just like guy standing being like fucking whatever everything's stink i don't give a shit shut up leave me alone fucking leave me alone this is funny um this i put this on my instagram close friends stories 
and I, you know, I did it in such a way that I, I'm going to upload it, but I probably won't upload it until um, December now, because but November's going to be the thing next month. So we'll see. But it's I shat myself. See, the story is it's, it's called I shat myself, and it's a short story in that case here. Um, so you think, oh no, he shat himself. That's terrible. But then you see it's this guy, and he's like. Arr! squatting down his anus and there's something popping out of his anus and it's a little man's head and he goes pop and he goes poing falls out and then goes hop and runs away wahoo see it's a little version of himself because he literally shat himself out of his anus that's fucking funny oh let's book a book Ella. book book is it too um self fellatory self dick suckery to look at my own art book in in a in an art book segment um i've got a, an upcoming video i'll be doing i might make it a podcast but i might make it like a special edition podcast i don't know um where i, I gather my favorite art books of the year and look through them yeah that could be fun and maybe i'll put one of mine in there i probably will i'll put bavember in there because you know um but this is from me obviously do um 2018 four years ago now uh, and I just thought I looked through it because this is one that like um, Ewan is a British graphic artist and illustrator mostly he draws but sometimes he paints this book contains some of those paintings look but it says this book constains some of those paintings which of course I didn't see until after I got the books back home um, this book constains which is I mean it's, it's funny because it's got the word stains and it's me so that's kind of amusing but yeah I, there's been times where i thought about this book and i'm like eh, that was kind of a meh book um but then i i flipped through it very briefly recently and i was like yeah no, no it's not that bad it's quite good so i thought i'll give it another look i like the cover that was this was someone else's drawing that i traced over just the pig and then i added the goblin in it and i painted it and i was really happy with that so that's cool um all the paintings in this book in this book were made with acrylic paint along with spray paints of various inks here and there you can usually see where made between 2012 and 2018 they are shown for the most part in chronological order a portion of the pieces shown marked with numbers were painted over drawings which were originally made by other artists all of whom are listed in the back of the book with the numbers corresponding to the pieces they drew all rights reserved. But do, do, do. I've stopped doing that now. I sometimes I feel like it, but sometimes I don't. Um, we start off with some Hulk paintings. The, this is early in my painting career, if you can call it. So this is my Hulk action figure, sort of a study of that, I guess. I like painting action figures because I like I like the look of like a painting of a toy. I like how it looks. You can see the joints and shit. Lighting. Wow. This is when I was really sort of like teaching myself to paint this sort of reflective lighting thing which in some parts is more successful than others that's quite a cool like hulk barbarian painting mash i was happy with that shoulder pad as a whole that says mash on it and that pose the arm one arm down one arm sort of half up with a fist and a weapon i, was, I love that painting still i like the lighting on it and let's see the lighting on the feet and then it's darker here hulk bold hulk clone or something stood on his head anatomy and all that shit and this is you know i did a whole i'm gonna i'm not gonna go through every page and describe what's on the page i'll just have to fucking flick through it really won't i but um yeah i did a whole series of like long wibbly wobbly arms and legs i like the spider-man he's got like a little spidey web hammock that's quite cool man some of these are really good I really like that one. This is early days of my pink man. Dark thim thim. See, these are all spray cans. They all go together. I tried to do that. I tried to keep everything relatively, like, in sync. So, you know, you've got Hulk, Hulk, kind of Hulk, other superheroes with wibbly arms, and then take the wibbly arms into these... Superhero, long arms, long arms, wibbly arms, spray cans, so they all go together. Long arms and spray cans, and then those arms are very similar to these arms, so this is the next picture there. Say, so I tried to do that, like keep it all, you know, fucking whatever. And I really do like some of these paintings. This is back when I used to paint all the time. Like painting was really the only form of colouring in that I did. 
I either did like black and white drawings in ball, ballpoint pen or I painted. Um, whereas, you know, now I use more markers, Posca and highlighters and a variety of things. Yeah, that's uh, one of my favorite paintings. I keep meaning to like redo that, do a newer version. I drew a newer version of that recently, but it sucked. So I gave up. This is one of the best things I've ever done in my life is this head series. And I think I'm due for a, an updated version, maybe with highlighters and stuff. Um, but this is one of the few painted ones I did. I came up with this in college, like the head coming out of the mouth and then in a circle, which still to this day, that's fucking genius. I don't care what anyone says. That's fucking good, man. And I'm I'm really fucking good for coming up with that. <laughs> uh, some skateboardy pictures. Um, just a bunch of skate rats. His shirt says skull for... Oh, I wonder what the rest of that word is. Rat. I think this one most closely resembles me and how I looked when I was a little skate rat. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, the skateboard and box guy doing a kickflip over a, a Hulk action figure. Now, this is where, this is an early days book. I think this is like the second or third book. I had my ballpoint book and then Gun Viking and then this, I think. Um, so I hadn't quite gotten fully to grips with like editing pictures to go in a book. But if, I don't know if it shows on camera, you can see like the square around this action figure where I like clipped it in to the rest of this picture, um, which... It would take a second to delete that, to just select the white area and delete it, but I didn't. And now you can see that square is there. So that ruins that. That's quite cool. Goblin fucking wall, Conan, parody, homage, Goblin King card. I was quite happy with that one. See, it's like a playing card. I actually printed a, a, a playing card with that on it. The little, like, I think it was a, a, either a K or a G in the corner. Little bear with a gun. That's fun. Oh, it rhymes. Skulls with orange lighting. The series. <laughs> I don't know what this was, but I quite like it. Just a bunch of skull people. But this one's got antlers and an eye floating. I think in my head it was something along the lines of, um, in... in what In the, this something of the blind, the, the one-eyed man is king or something in the... In a city of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I think that's sort of what I was going for. See, because he's got one eye, and none of the others have eyeballs. They've just got eye sockets, so that's... I don't know. And this one, he's got tiny little skulls where his eyes should be, and eyeballs floating around. He's got skulls for eyes as well, but he's also got arms and feet and axes. I really like this painting, actually. I'd like to redo that one. I like the shape of the skull and stuff. Um, this one I did for uh, a... Uh, it was like a, a Dungeons and Dragons art contest to see if you were good enough to illustrate Dungeons and Dragons for one of their upcoming things. Um, I never heard back from them. There's parts of this painting I really like. There's parts of it I don't like. I should have done a more contrasty background than just this horrible grey wash. Um, but the, the level of detail in this is ridiculous. In the trousers and the shoes and the like wraps and things and the texture in the skin and the bones and there's just stuff going on this little goblin tied to his stick a snail up there a little guy here a weird fly the, the wings on that fly skull thing are shit um I like his necklaces and shit a snake here around his that's a really cool painting but like there's enough problems with it that it's like mm, not quite there some paintings over drawings hellboy and cerebus i really like the cerebus the Hellboy's cool too, but you know, the Cerebus. Uh, some of my first drawings over other people's. R Robert. Robert Human. Look him up. He's one of my oldest Instagram pals. These are a couple of his drawings I painted over. Um, I, I traced them off of my, I think, my laptop screen or whatever, or my phone, um, and then paint over those traced drawings, which is kind of a pain, but at the same time, it's whatever. You know, I don't have a printer or anything. I really like this little study from... Uh, whatever the fuck it is, Indiana Jones, the melting Nazis, feet, that was my at the time girlfriend, feet and heels with the ankle bracelet over the top, just, mm. yeah, doom, so my, my series of, of Operation Doomsday covers, um, see this one I was like 
trying to keep it really sort of tight to the original thing. It's kind of shit, but it was early on. And then this is a slightly later one. And again, probably over six years, probably two years between each one of these. And then trying to keep a bit more, but make it a bit more wild. And then just sort of doing a bit more of my own thing with the text and stuff. And that was the one that was on exhibition in Bristol recently. A nugget, Frankenstein nugget. That was in a book of demons and stuff. Oh, what's your favourite idea? Mind being creative. How do you get that idea? I just try to think creatively. Now take a look at my hair. Uh, my dream, Jojo. I love the, the fucking lich painting there. With the texture on his fucking skull. How did I even do that, man? And I love, like, where I used the pink. Well, no, no pink. Um, I had the dark red and then, like, a green underpainting here. And then the highlights and stuff and the, the teeth. And I love that fucking lich. I think that's so fucking good. <laughs> you know, again, just suck my own dick. But I think that's really, really fucking solid as a painting is this this lich bit here. Jake the dog's pretty cool, I like his long legs, and then a big gnarly barbarian fin. It's like, okay, could use some work here and there, but that lich painting, man, that's fucking good. I was on something there, but... And P-Bubs, Princess Bubblegum being all like, gangster guns and bombs and shit, I don't know. Whatevs. Snub is a... a, a, a British street graffiti artist, whatever. That's his character I painted. The Grominator is a, a Canadian graffiti artist, I think. That's one of his characters. Same lighting. That's a very... I've used that lighting system or whatever again and again and again. Because um, it works so well. It's so effective and it's relatively easy to do. Just top down, bluish turquoise, bottom up, pink... And it looks so good and it adds uh, texture and substance and solidity and effectiveness. And I've used that again and again because, like, if I can't think of a colour scheme for something, I'll just go with that. Because it fucking works. Cursed One. Um, these are both Cursed One. This is Cursed One just drew... I think it was Cursed One. Oh, no, this might be the Grominator. That's the Grominator. Who is this guy. That's Cursed One. I, th I think... Yeah, I think that's what that is. I'll go through, uh, I'll look at the, the back. But then the cursed one, there was a collage someone else made and then cursed one drew it and then I traced that drawing and painted it. Um, which is really cool. I love the, the teeth and tentacles. So I can only claim so much of the creativity of this. I just painted the thing and same with this. Um, there was just a drawing. These are just black and white drawings and I figured I could colour that in. And did a really good painting, man. I, it's, you know, not the best painting in the world, but it's fucking good. That was uh, a sketch done by Glenn Fabry, what, my, pr pretty much my favourite, favourite artist. Um, a sketch he did for me at a con, you know, I gave him a tenor, said, draw me Drudge Dredge, and he drew this. I traced it, painted it. Um, I want to redo that, because I think I could do it better now. With the, the like, if I use a more bold red, because I... I wasn't that confident I could make the helmet look better. I don't know, whatever. This was a sketch card that was quite cool. Judge Death. These were sketch cards. These were, well, sketch cards, paint cards. I really like the Rat Fink. I'd never, ever drawn or painted Rat Fink before. And someone said, could you do me a Rat Fink little sketch card? And I was like, maybe. Let me let me see. I'll try at least. And I did. And it came out really good. The blue lighting, you know. Painting on top of Pokemon cards. Those are very popular. I like the Pikachu and the t Tangela. The Oddish is cool, but I, I hate its mouth. I, it looks like it's got a beak. I just fucked that up a bit. The Whooper's pretty cool with the lighting. It's, it's pretty neat there. Um, the issue I have with this one is a very important part of Pikachu is his red cheeks. And that red in the image of Pikachu is very important. It really sort of makes Pikachu what Pikachu is. And obviously when he uses his lightning power, his cheeks light up and his... Mm -hmm. But then if you have just that picture, you remove the red from the picture and it really saps the colour out of the image of Pikachu. Um, which isn't inherently bad, it's just a thing I noticed. So that's something. I really like the Tangela with the one eye. A Hermaeus Mora kind of look for the Skyrim fans. Um, and a Jigglypuff, that was... Uh, 
a commission as a gift for somebody. And that was called Chrome Ratata for some reason. I was just painting chrome at the time and I figured, why not? A bunch of portraits. That's no one in particular. It was a drawing I painted over, my own drawing. I was arse face as Batman. That's quite funny. Be some butthead Wario and Waluigi, a pumpkin. And this was because the actor who played the original Leatherface died. So I did a little rip. So it's like it's carved into his thing. Gorillas. Each of these paintings is like smaller than one of their heads. They're like this big, the original paintings of those. They're quite cool. Dick Butt. Uh, Rick, I think his surname is pronounced Beaupre. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him about that. Um, he, I think he drew a Dick Butt and I was like, I'll draw a Dick Butt too. And then we like traded Dick Butt drawings. Um, and this was mine. And it's like, it's in space with the floating eye, which was obviously a recurring motif at the time this is like the joker and then his face is like chopped up and swapped around like his nose a bit has been swapped around but it is on that side it should be on oh, i don't know i really like this it's not amazing but i i like it I actually i just did a a joker commission which is not particularly similar but it's you know it's quite a good drawing i'm quite happy with it uh, and that's a thing it's October currently, it's almost Halloween. This is relevant. I painted Mona Lisa with a, for no reason. I just thought, hey, why not? People might like it on Instagram. That was probably, that's a Krampus, which again would have been, people might like it on Instagram. Very, very, very busily inspired with my own floating eyeballs and teeth. And got to add my things in there. Earth and Sepets on Instagram. I painted over loads of his drawings. Um, I've shown those before, these are all, his drawings I painted over. That was a tough one. This sort of rhinoceros mech thing and I put it in the woods. Originally I tried to paint it with like the lighting coming through the leaves but I fucked it up because it was difficult. But yeah it's got these like big mech legs and cannons and stuff and I added in all the foliage around it which the image in this book is too dark to really show it. But the trees I did some cool texture stuff there and Oh, that was quite a good one. Some others of his, same guy again. Same guy again. This is one of my favourites. This is always, I put this in like my painting portfolio quite often. Because I'm really, really happy with it. Like as a painting. Even though, you know, like I say, it was just colour work, really. I didn't draw the thing. Um, that was a fun one as well. I like the colours on the fish man. Another of his drawings. Zach Ridley. Oh, we're getting into my comic book work. Um, this is my original Zach Ridley cover painting with the sticky out ears i like doing those a lot this was an internal like chapter divider cover from 2014 of one of the alien characters in the comic um and then this is you know how the cover looked and this is i think actual size of that painting just tiny tiny little painting how did i do it um and that's obviously bigger than the original comic book but and some of my favorite pages uh, r roughly actual size, I think. I'll try to get them close. Yeah, some of them, some of my favourite pages from a comic book that overall I'm not too happy with the artwork of, um, but I like some of these. I like this like cityscape I did. Some of these little panels of people that I quite like, little street scenes and things. Quite like this, like the elevator with like the, the square light above it. But again, I fucked up the contrast because I didn't know what I was doing. Early days of my comic book career times. I like this, him holding the gun and stuff and the lighting and the whatever. And then there's a gunfight and I like these guys getting hit and those poses are cool. And he comes through the window. And, and this was a page that's like this panels this way up this panel the text goes here this panel the text goes there and then this panel it's upside down so you've actually got to read it like this which is quite funny and annoying um another chapter divider sort of cover painting that was quite cool dan d-a-n the cyborg character just random stuff in the background because whatever yeah because whatever and these were some of the original paintings I did for the upcoming volume two, which is obviously now out, which I had to redo when I finally did it. This was the six page 
a little prequel story that was printed along with the latest issue. Benny Huge, Dr. Syntax, UK rapper. Very, very cool, very good, very smart. I like him. I drew him, painted him. I sent him that and he was like, oh, that's really cool. Portraits, MCA of the Beastie Boys. He passed away, so I painted a couple of pictures of him. Comedians, whatever. Both of whom I'm sort of like meh about now, but, you know. Louis C.K. is still funny, but... And I actually really like this painting. I think that's a really good painting. Um, like, the texture and stuff in, in terms of portrait painting and the aids carved into his head. I think that's a really good piece. I should try and get that in front of him. I should show it to him and be like, look, it's you! My dad, my dead fat heart attack having dad. Some girl. More girls, tits and naked bodies. Oh, more naked bodies and tits. Which I'm always... Uh, it's difficult to paint. I find it difficult to paint smooth surfaces. Because if it's like a portrait like this, I can get texture and stuff and make it look like a textured head. Like whatever. But then when it comes to painting smooth skin, I get really like... Because I use acrylics, which aren't as easy to blend. You can do it, but it takes a bit more time and I'm not necessarily that patient with painting. More paintings of girls and things. Some of my Charlie Brown. This is a really cool one. I like the thing. Chrome. Rat Bro. The Rat Bro team from Russia that make the Rat Bro toys. I was obsessed with them. Painted a bunch of their toys. That's really cool. I like the red in this wrestling. Um, neon. Karasu, I think. It's a very, very lovely lady. Very good artist. There were her drawings that I painted over. I really like those. Um, and that's the this thing that's on the cover. There's another goblin that I did. Goblins, we love the goblins. It's just stuff. Oh, God. Rocksteady and Bebop. Wasn't I going to do a newer painting of those? Maybe I should actually follow through with that shit. Other 90s cartoon paintings. Spider Hulk. Do. That's what you need me to do. You need me to say what you're looking at, even though you're looking at it, so you can see it. I'd just seen the Ant Man film, and so I drew an Ant Man, but like it's an actual Ant Man, and he's ripping this guy's throat out. <laughs> the itchy and scratchy piece is cool. So it's like a Frazetta Conan piece, but it's all like. Itchy and scratchy. And like it's itchy and scratchy land, but there's blood crossing out the word scratchy. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, the origins. The origins of the man. That was like the first idea for his costume. Um, which is, I stayed pretty close to that. I both. Sometimes I miss having the V because I don't tend to do the V on him anymore. I stopped that in, I think, like issue two or something. Um, oh, yeah, when he got dragged off by Freya. He lost the V. Sometimes I miss it because it does make it more super heroic, kind of. But then sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, fuck that. Because in certain pages and panels, it's really awkward to, like, add the V in to make it look proper or whatever. But... Yeah, I, I sometimes forget that that was even a thing. The original Gun Viking had that V on his chest. That's so weird to think that. Like, yeah, he had the V. Didn't there, I guess, but... In, in all the old comics, the old issues, he had that V. And then I just got bored of drawing it, so I stopped. <laughs> See, because here it just it looks awkward. Like, I, it, I could add it. If I were to do it now, I could make it look a bit better, but... And then just, you know, I, like I always say, painting with red is always a bit tricky, so... <sighs> painting over Scotty Young! Well, this is my own drawing, my own painting of Gert from My Hate Fairyland. It was quite a funny one. She's all beaten up and shit. And then I... Scotty contacted me about potentially doing some of his covers, and he said, oh, I'll send you a drawing at some point as like a test to see, you know, if you can paint over it and whatever. But then I just took this off of his, his, his Instagram, painted over it, sent it to him, and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Uh, and then, that's about actual size. 
I don't work very big. Um, and that's how it looked printed. Fuck! Fairyland. And then these are the other ones. This one was tricky because it's like supposed to be like mushroom samurais with a sword in the head and blood and shit. Um, which is okay. Maybe I could have made it a bit lighter. That one's really, really cool. Really happy with that one. This one, see it's a guy's crotch with a big lightning cod piece thing. And I'm always worried about how clear I'm making stuff, but... Ultimately, I'm painting over someone else's drawing, so that's that's the thing. And then this one was really cool. There was um, a rainbow in the background, but it's not that clear. But um, yeah, cool, good times. And these are some of the like. This was my first draft, and then Scotty said mm, the background needs to be a bit brighter. Maybe can you make it like orange yellow kind of color? So I did this, and he was like, "Yep, perfect, cool, done. Go to print." And then this was like my colour compositions. Pretty close for this one. And then he, I think he said rainbow in the background or something. So did that. And then, and you can see this one's, you know, the final is a lot tidier. And then same for this. This was the colour composition. And he was like, cool, yeah, perfect. Go ahead. And then, so it's almost the same painting. But I've sold some of the covers. I wonder if I can sell the colour compositions for even more. And another one of my own pieces. Of Gert chopping people up with big muscly arms because why the fuck not? Mad villain Cassidy from Preacher, Pickle Rick, we all know and love, and frankly, a far better rat costume. He should have done that um, in the cartoon rather than just have bits and pieces. I think this looks way better. Uh, they should have contacted me to do some of the work and my palette, uh, the other artists involved. Um, and Ewan lives still without the beard. I was so young. Oh my god, weird. That is strange. But yeah, I I think that's a cool book. Uh, out of print now, and probably won't ever be printed again. So if you've got one, cool. If you haven't, tough shit. Um, but I get asked that a lot about reprinting books. But if I do a reprint, I sell so few compared to how I how many I sold before. Um, and so it's it's difficult to balance cost and number of copies to get printed. Um, and I'd rather work on new books and put out more than printing old ones. Maybe someday in the future when I do have time and money, I'll print all my old stuff, my whole back catalogue. But for now, new things we work on. New, 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 but that was paint, that was cool. I'm I'm cool, hooray. Stinktober is what it is. Um, that was a much longer art book segment than I'd planned it to be. But hey, it was all good artwork, wasn't it? it was, did you see all the paintings that I had done over years and years? I really should put out a, a more recent paintings book, shouldn't I? Wouldn't that be something? Because there's, I've done, I've got, since that book came out, I've got four years at least of paintings that I could potentially show off but uh hey uh i was thinking stinktober oh do you know what it's it's the beverage of the fucking week the fuck Beverage of the fucking week. It's Dr. Pepper Vanilla Float, naturally and artificially flavoured, which is quite funny. An American import, no doubt. Um, vanilla Float, Coke Floats. Have you ever had one of those? I guess you call them uh, an ice cream soda or like. An ice cream soda, I think, is the general term. And then if, if you have a specific drink, like a Coke or a Dr. Pepper, it's a it's a that thing float, like a Coke float. We have a glass of Coke, and then you put a dollop of vanilla ice cream in it. And it's really good, actually. Um, cream soda is a good one for that as well. I like I like a cream soda. Root beer float. Mm, root beer float. Oh, maybe I'll do that for, for, for next week's um, beverage of the week. I'll have a, I'll have a float. I get a can of a thing and I put it in a glass and some ice cream. And I... um, saw this in that American import store. 
and I thought I'd grab a can and uh, see how it is. And hope that it doesn't fizz everywhere. You all know I do love me a good Dr. Pepper. And the flavoured ones, I've always said, it's very rare that the flavoured ones taste like what they're supposed to taste like. That Mountain Dew, watermelon Mountain Dew was really good in terms of flavour. Like it tasted like Mountain Dew and it also tasted like watermelon flavourings <coughs> or whatever. So, there we go. Nah, mmm, nah, see. It doesn't quite taste like Dr Pepper. It vaguely tastes like vanilla-ish. It's okay, but it's not like... Um, frankly, that just tastes like a generic soda pop. <laughs> that doesn't taste particularly outrageous or flavorful. Uh, a bit disappointing, but fuck, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh my god, oh, what is going on? Oh, I look like a clown, that wasn't the intention, but oh my god. Ah, um, so I think for this next Stinktober drawing, I'm doing birth, birth, stink. Stinkies, birth has got the stinkies. Oh, did the birth make a stinkies? Oh, poo poo. Did birth got poo poo stinky poo? And I draw a baby coming out like, ah, like a demon baby looking thing. Ooh, there's his nose up here and his eyes down here going, Ooh, oh, it looks like the cave trolls from uh, Lord of the Rings. Ooh, and then the baby's hands coming out like, ah, ooh, drooling and shit. Oh, and there's poo and shit coming out. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll do the, the mouth like this. Like the Charlie Brown, the classic sort of Charlie Brown scream mouth. Like that, where this is the mouth. And then he's got his shirt and he says, Good God! Um... So this is baby, 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 oh baby, I hate you, go back from whence you came, don't you remember I told you I hate you baby, I wish I never fucking had you baby. I regret getting pregnant with you, baby, oh baby, I hate you, I really do. Don't you remember I told you I hate you, baby, you ruined my life forever, you fucking baby. Tore my vagina open, baby, oh baby, I hate you, I really do, and Kanye hates the Jews. Ha 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 ha, see, cause Kanye West's anti-Semitic now, oh but he's such a musical genius, no he's a fucking moron, how about that? Oh my god, I'm having a baby! <laughs> stinks um that might be enough visual information for me to do the drawing uh, her shoulders up there her fat pregnant tits i've got a pregnant friend i've mentioned a few times and um she's got fat pregnant tits which uh, i guess tends to happen because you've got to fill those things up with milk and feed that fucking baby that's going to come out of you Um, what am I going to do with this baby? Put its eyes here, its nose here, and its mouth like more like ah, drooling and, and messy and shit. Ooh, yeah. 
I'll put flies everywhere as well. Where's your giant flies? Buzz, buzz, you cunt! Fucking buzz, buzz! And now let's light boxing! That's what we do. Oh, do you want to see a surprise? I'll show you. It's a butt. I'll do a fancy cover for it. Um, but this is going to be my butt vent, butt venture sketch bunch. My butt venture sketchbook. It's all going to be in here. One, one sketchbook containing. See, what I like to do, I did it last year and I'm doing it this year too is aiming to have all the butt vember drawings done before November so that when it gets to November I've got an entire month's worth of content to post online one drawing a day <laughs> oh excuse me um and then I don't have to worry because some days trying to come up with something to draw to post uh, it's just such a fucking pain and it takes up a lot more time than it should sometimes so having a whole month of I don't have to worry every day a drawing of a butt, post it, it's done. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. So, these are the current butts I have. Oh, that's the arm that I mentioned before, see, with the... Um, and you can see the theme, yeah? The theme this year is red, which I mentioned in, in the Butt Vember book. I said, in within that, wherever, I don't know if I've got a copy, but <laughs> I don't have a fucking copy to have. God damn it. Uh, but I said in the Butt Vember book, um, next Butt Vember, I'm thinking red with a bit of pink and a bit of black. And that's exactly what I'm doing. It's going to be a whole red Butt Vember. And what I'll do is, here's my plan. I'm going to tell you everything I'm planning to do. Um, whew, caffeine, you and caffeine, come on. Um, because sometimes it gets annoying just posting the same image because I have the Butt Vember Instagram page dedicated. And then I sometimes I don't like posting the same drawing on both pages on the same day because then they come up in people's feed and it's like they might like one and not the other. So you're going to be, mm. so what I might do is on on my my Ewan Instagram page, I'll post like a photo like this, like as you're seeing it now. And you know, square format it or whatever. But you can see the sketchbook with the drawing on the page. Um, and then on the Vember page, I'll have the drawing scanned in and it will be a crisp, crisp white image and then fill up the grid on there, yeah? And just so it's a little bit of difference from page to page, which I think is a really good idea. And then, by the end of it, I will have this sketchbook full of butt drawings, 30 at least, um, which I can make... I was thinking I might sell the drawings themselves or I might see if anyone wants to buy the entire sketchbook for £500. Um, but that's so you know, but remember, it's coming, it's coming along, it's getting up there, it's coming, happening, it's all, it's it's got in all in the haps, and it's happening all over your face and chest. Do do do, do. shit my ass a pin poop. <laughs> um, it sucks light boxing during the day. Because uh, my curtains are closed currently, but they're very thin material, so light pours in. Um, and so when I'm trying to light box, that light interferes. Sometimes I will literally throw like a towel or a hoodie over myself if I'm light boxing during the day to sort of block out any light coming through. Um, and sometimes I won't do do do. Oh my god. What happened to that caffeine? <laughs> I'm supposed to be all hyper and talkative and going, Oh my god, I can't breathe. I think this is one of those points where I'm like, at least try to concentrate and not fuck it up. if I fuck up this part of it then the rest of the drawing is going to be even more fucked up by matter of course isn't it potentially maybe it won't I don't fucking know maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about 
Um, what else am I working on? What else have I got to talk about? Nothing. That's what, you cunt. I've been um, to space and it was everything I thought it wouldn't be and less. Um, I've been formatting, putting together on Photoshop my little, little uh, black and white drawings book, which is going to be just like an A5, almost like a notebook. Um, which maybe, mm, no, no, I was going to say maybe I'll, I'll like Photoshop it so it's all looks like it's on lined paper, but I won't. Um, but it will be, you know, notebook sized, like A5, just thin-ish, maybe sort of 60 to 80 pages of just black and white drawings. Some rude ones, some whatever. Um, and so that's something. And with that, I'm, I'm going to be using a different printing service just to see how it is because there's a website that a lot of people are using currently um and the prices look quite good uh, especially for black and white printing so i'm gonna test it and see see uh just how it how it is see how what sort of quality the books come out like and if that might be something i want to do going forward or whatever not that there's anything wrong personally that I've, I've got with them um, the, you know the guy who prints my stuff currently but I just you know just want to see see what's up and I figure you know a smaller scale book is probably a good way to test those waters or whatever um, maybe Oh god, this looks like shit. Um, I think the baby needs to be moved in a bit. Yeah. Shall we try again? Um, <laughs> uh, this makes for a really interesting viewing, I'm sure. The point is, birth sucks. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I certainly wish I'd never been born. <laughs> uh, I felt that way since I was about six or seven, if not younger. Um, and do you know what? The feelings never gone away. Which is a legitimate thing that I, you know, bring up in, in therapy and such is the idea of, of wanting to be not alive. Uh, has been been with me pretty much my entire life. And that's always one of the very first questions they ask in terms of, you know, talking about suicidal thoughts and such, is, you know, how long have you had these thoughts and feelings? And almost every time I like, I kind of laugh a little bit before I answer. It's always like, <laughs> I, I mean, how long have I wanted to be dead uh well 30 years ish maybe 28 30 years you know basically my entire life um and i think you know i'm sure that's the case for some people but in terms of the reaction i get when i say that I think maybe most people have like, oh, you know, a few years since this or that, or there was this event and all that that's sort of made me not want to be around. But for me, it's been, well, you know, pretty much my entire life. I've <laughs> not been happy basically my whole existence. This whole existence thing, not that happy with it. Um, I've tried, you know, there's been periods. <laughs> disgusting bloody smelly horrible periods um yeah there's been periods of time t time that's been like better better than others um but on the whole yeah i'm just not not a fan of this whole living thing that we've got going on um and often times uh, I, I find things that make it a lot worse. So it's difficult to live when you don't want to live. 
Oh, keep uh, keep on keeping on, you know, keep your chin up and you get on with it and do your bits. Uh... Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want um, to. Not to, <laughs> you know, put a downer on the uh, on the, the tone of the podcast. Uh, you know, get out. Uh, I just uh, don't want to be here. I, d- I had no intention of, of talking about it. I was trying to keep everything light and cheerful. Ooh. But then I am drawing a picture depicting birth being horrible. So I mean, maybe it's par for the course or whatever. Tears, because it's awful. That's a bit better. I think that's much better. I quite like that. Um, what I'll probably do is draw it neater and tidier, like ink it, since it is ink, inktober, stinktober, more like. Uh, do you know? Originally, for this October, I was thinking of doing. Um, I even have some noted down um, lyrics from songs uh, it ain't all about the dollar bill you could be dead broke and be a scholar still that's a line i've been meaning to illustrate for years upon years um i was going to do illustrated song lyrics again i figured maybe like 12 to 16 just to get like a nice grid of drawings that i can post at the end of it um my face plate removes and i give chicks tattoos but then they can see your face i make them look the other way i almost got a case of that same shit the other day because um, that could be cool because it's MF Doom. Um, what's what's the, the line? Um, tell me what kind of tricks the mask do. My faceplate removed and I give chicks tattoos. Um, and that could be a cool image of like MF Doom pulling his mask off and he's got just like a black face with lasers coming out of his eyes and he gives chicks tattoos with his laser eyes. Um, but the chick has to look the other way because otherwise they'll see his face. Um Order a wrapper for lunch and spit out the chain. That's, um, is that Sofa King? Or something? Uh, mostly MF Doom lyrics. Um, some others and stuff. The Aqua Teen Hunger Force characters, because th- there's the song ATHF from the Danger Doom album, where he, it's Aqua Teen Hunger Force, ATHF. And he describes the characters. Um, and I thought it'd be cool to draw Aqua Teen Hunger Force, because I haven't. Um, and then for each one of them, put like the the section where he's describing that character. Uh, yeah, so I was going to do that originally, and then I came up with the idea of Stinktober. I thought, oh, that could be funny. I'll do one or two drawings for that. And apparently now that's just what I'm doing, um, which frankly is a lot easier than illustrating song lyrics. So, and 